One state I visited that is growing faster than others in Mexico is Querétaro, that is now enjoying rapid development due to the growth in investment in high-value industries such as aeronautics, automotive and IT. I asked the governor of Querétaro, José Calzada Rovirosa, in his historic office, which was once a place from which the plot for independence was hatched. What makes the Querétaro state work and the government effective? So how, how did it start in Querétaro? I mean, was it designed to be sort of an, indust uh, an industry for the aeronautics? Well, I, I think that we have several, several factors in place. Uh, when, when companies come, because our, our main industry is the uh, automotive industry. Mm -hmm. We have 300 companies in the automotive uh, industry. It uh, accounts for 10% 10, 10 of GDP, of the state's GDP. Mm -hmm. So it is a very robust uh, uh, industry in Querétaro. But uh, when companies come, the first thing they like about Querétaro is safety. Mm -hmm. We are amongst the, the fifth uh, most uh, or safest uh, states in the country. Wow, um, I find it fascinating also the efforts to actually create you know, skilled human resources like having the university there so you have a ready supply of highly skilled and, and uh, you know, people ready to be employed in these industries. That's an asset. Yeah. Having the universities, uh, it's combining uh, the best of all, both worlds because when, when companies, aeronautical industry comes to Querétaro and they they ask me how can mm -hmm. I help them. Uh, the one of the things that I tell them is I train, I train your people. How many do you need? So they tell me I need 200 guys to service the engines, for example. So I train those guys. Uh, once they come out of uh, high school, I train them for maintaining the engines. So when, when the company starts operation, I supply them with 200 guys that the government pays for that. It's an investment. Mm -hmm. And uh, the company has uh, a very well articulated mm -hmm. and, and uh, trained uh, people for their company. But has it always been like that? What, what's, what was, uh, why is Querétaro so different from the other states in terms of... I think that Querétaro has, has, has uh, gained leadership, national leadership, in terms of attracting industry, in terms of, uh, of, of many things that make people feel safe and... Uh, trustworthy uh, of uh, the place they're investing. I, I think that's, that's the reason. Okay. When m many companies come, and that's, this is an argument that I have very often with companies that come to Querétaro, is if I, if I settle in Querétaro, what do you give me? And I tell them quality of life. And some other things that money cannot buy, like uh, people production, mm -hmm. uh, people education, and uh, uh, some other things. Uh, uh, land is, is for companies to, to pay for. I take care of the rest. <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, thank you very much for having me here, Mr. Governor. And thank it's you very been much. a real pleasure. I hope to see you one day in Jakarta. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would very, very much like to do that, of yeah, course. You should. <laughs>but let me go to the big, big picture about Bombardier, why we decided to come to Mexico. Bombardier uh, had a vision about seeing where we would actually find the best solutions to increase and to find low-cost countries in order to develop airplanes. Mm -hmm. The competition is very tough in this, in this sector and we decided that Mexico was extremely important to doing that. Why? Because we have the, four, the three pillars of our, of our, um, of our development. We had the opportunities have in the infrastructure. We have a very qualified uh, education system and uh, labor facilities. 
and we have uh, uh, all the, the the investment that mm. it's needed in order to to, uh, to to come to this to this place. At the same time, we can and we have developed through the years a very important supply chain that is actually supporting uh, the development of the aerospace industry. Bombardier was the first one to came to Mexico to mm. develop this industry, and the first place that we decided to come was to Querétaro. Okay, Alfredo, thank you. Let's just walk down. Let's so walk down, of course. At the end of the day, the key to producing high-quality products is the quality of the human resource. It seems in the area of building planes, Querétaro decides to be the center of expertise in the country with qualified workers. Not far from Bombardier is the new University of Aeronautics, built at great expense to fill the growing needs in the global aerospace industry for skilled and trained professionals working with competitive wages. Here, aeronautics students work with real planes in order to get their technical expertise. Okay, so Jorge. Hi. I can't believe this is a university. A public university. A public, uni a public it looks, university. It looks like fact. a hangar. <laughs> it looks like, because you know, we are uh, trying to reproduce as close as possible mm -hmm. both the environment of maintenance activities, which is the site in which we're walking around so far, and the manufacturing activities. One of these activities, manufacturing, is mm -hmm. something that Mexico is really working hard, the whole country. Mm -hmm. There are four main states who are really working hard for developing the aerospace sector in Mexico. Okay. And, and Querétaro is one of uh, those and, important and this ones. Is, and this is the center for the aeronautics industry. Indeed. In Mexico. Indeed. In Mexico, yes. Querétaro. So the students, they come here to learn how to make basically how to make planes. How to make parts, how to maintenance mm -hmm. parts, and also how to make and assembly a whole aircraft mm -hmm. in either uh, a fixed wing, like this one in, uh, that we're walking around, or like a helicopter, which are mm -hmm. uh, movable wings. Mm -hmm. So basically the creation of this university is in order to produce qualified, competent, skilled workers that are readily employable. That is, that is the main objective. Of, the, of this university. The strategy that the federal and state government established with the creation of this university is offering public opportunities of high qualified training. Okay, so this is the, the key aspect of the creation of this university.